the privilege uh, at a very young age to work in two countries which are on the opposite side of the cultural spectrum. India, New Delhi on one hand, so a country which is considered to be high power distance and very collectivistic, and the US, Washington DC on the other, a highly individualistic and low power distance country. They taught me that culture is very important. Culture influences deeply the way people think, perceive and conceive and feel about others. These experiences have left uh, me with the idea that culture is a very important factor that has to be somehow integrated in the executive education system. Leaders cannot be considered as strong leaders unless they are able not only to articulate a vision which is truly global, but also to align global diverse teams to this vision. This is the key of success in the future. Yeah, cultural intelligence is actually a third form of intelligence. Uh, it basically builds on some of the assumptions that were used to develop the emotional intelligence model, but uh, it starts from the idea that emotional intelligence, intelligence has a limitation when it, it applies to diverse teams and diverse environment. CQ is about really the capability to operate successfully across geographical and cultural boundaries. It's about motivation, it's about knowledge, it's about strategy and it's about the ability to adapt and flex behaviors to match the other, the other person's expectations. This correlation is even more obvious to individuals who have 10, 15, 20 years of experience. They've learned that sometimes what makes the difference between a successful leadership style and a not so successful one is really the ability to communicate, align, motivate, inspire people who have very different uh, cultural origins and, uh, and, and values. Making sure that before the pressures goes up, and before they start struggling on deliverables and projects and assignments, they take some time to better understand what culture is about, to better understand what makes them different, thinking different, perceiving and feeling differently, mapping the differences. By doing this exercise becomes a team which uh, is potentially very successful, which has the understanding the knowledge and the skills which are required not only to overcome the difference but actually to leverage them and make them an opportunity for additional success. By being able to better understand differences and communicate in a way which is appropriate mm -hmm. to their audience, to the team members, to the peers, to the, to the superiors, uh, our managers are stronger and therefore they lead better, they manage better projects and systems and operations and routines and ultimately they deliver uh, more value to the business with better financial results. Research shows that there is a very strong correlation between, as I said before, CQ, the cultural intelligence dimension, and job performance, particularly at the leadership level. So it all, in the end, it all translates into added value and, and business success. Mm -hmm.